I'm Stephen and this is Solving the Money Problem. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to be running through my predictions for Tesla in 2021 and what it might mean for Tesla stock. So let's get into the video. But first, hey guys, if you live in the US and you'd like to help out the channel and get up to four free stocks, check out the link in the description to Weeble. If you open a new account, you'll get two free stocks between $2.50 and $250 each just for opening an account. And if you deposit $100, you'll get a further two free stocks valued between $8 and $1,600 each. That is an obnoxiously good return on your investment. I mean, really, deposit $100 and you'll end up with, at minimum, $21 worth of stocks, a 21% ROI on your money. And if you're in Australia, the UK, or New Zealand, you can get a free stock with stake also using the link in the description. Let's get back to it. If 2020 was a breakout year for Tesla stock and the company, seeing the narrative switch from they can't make money, they're going bankrupt, to holy crap they've won the decade 2020 is a year in which tesla whips out their massive advantages and slaps everyone square in the face now i know some of you are super keen simply to hear my thoughts about what i believe will happen to tesla stock in 2021 i'll address this in a roundabout way by simply issuing a warning to anyone who's considering shorting tesla stock or currently is short tesla stock tesla's meat club is likely to rearrange your facial features and empty your bank account this year so as I said, they're swinging around their massive advantages. I would be ducking for cover, but hey, you do you. I'll be here to rip on you in six months, 12 months, 18 months, as long as you want to hold out that short position. I'll be here to point out how incredibly stupid that was, and I'll explain why. And to be clear, I'm not expecting Tesla stock to 10x again this year. However, I do expect it will trend up over time. There is an absolute tsunami of positive catalysts month after month after month after month throughout 2021. So. Let's look at those catalysts. The first big positive catalyst for Tesla is the construction of the Berlin Gigafactory. Despite the bureaucratic shitstorm that is Europe, Germany in particular, somehow Tesla is still moving ahead at lightning speed. The Berlin Gigafactory will ultimately produce over 2 million vehicles per year, well over twice the size of the world's largest automotive factory today, based on my understanding. In other words, this is an absolute monster. The first stage is likely to produce around half a million vehicles per year, beginning with the latest iteration of Tesla's Model Y, which will include world-class paint shop, incredible gigacasting technology, meaning that these things are flying off production lines at lightning speed for extremely low costs and carry enormous margins. Never mind the octavalve and heat pump. The long story short is that the Model Y coming out of Berlin will be the most advanced vehicle on earth. And, of course, Tesla will then later integrate some of these same learnings and updates and improvements in manufacturing to all of its other models, including, of course, Model Y and Model 3. And we can't forget integration of Tesla's epic new 4680 cells, which Elon Musk has already confirmed will be in the Made in Germany Model Ys from day one. That structural battery pack, absolute game changer. That technology is also then going to find its way into all of Tesla's other products over time. Speaking of gigantic factories that are going up in record time that will produce record numbers of vehicles, change the world and embarrass everybody other than Tesla, now we talk about the Austin Gigafactory slash Terra Factory, whatever you want to call it. We don't actually know the final production capacity of this factory, but my guess is somewhere between three to five million over the long term. Depends on how many cells are being produced specifically at that location that aren't going into its own production, but going to other factories if any won't get into the boring details of that i will tell you guys that this thing is being constructed at 24 hours a day round the clock shifts non-stop austin is going to go up far faster than i think a lot of people realize and will produce the cybertruck semi roadster and many other vehicles as well maybe you've heard about gigafactory shanghai screaming ahead at lightning pace already producing model y's tesla recently cutting the price of the model y's by 30 percent apparently getting 100,000 orders in half a day so yeah i think tesla's going to do relatively well in china this year as they continue to expand the gigafactory release the model y and plenty more don't forget the enormous margins likely to be on those made in china model y's lower labor costs blah 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 a little bit better to be building these things in China than elsewhere in the world, just economically speaking. Tesla is going to dominate China, no question. And by the way, a really warm special shout out to Lynette Lopez. Seems like there is a lot of digging going on. Unfortunately, Tesla is also known for not meeting those goals. Elon Musk said that there is going to be Model 3s manufactured from the China plant by the end of 2019. So far, the China plant is... Um, 
basically an open field with some digging going on. It's harder and harder to believe that there will be Model 3s coming out of the Tesla China Gigafactory by the end of the year. Tesla's incredibly unique, divisive and brilliant Cybertruck is also due for release later this year. And thanks to a crowdsourced reservation tracker, it appears well in excess of 1 million people have reserved a Cybertruck. I think this is going to be a hit. And in case you've forgotten, or just don't know in the first place, Cybertruck was engineered specifically with one goal in mind, to utterly eviscerate internal combustion engine pickup trucks. Cybertruck is engineered to be the most utilitarian, functional, feature-packed pickup truck on the market, period. More durable, safer, more features. It's got onboard air compressor, onboard power outlets, all sorts of other crap, full self-driving, rah, 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 rah. But far more importantly, from a business point of view, this thing has been engineered to be extremely cheap, fast, and efficient to manufacture. I've explained this in more detail in Cybertruck is Engineering Genius. The point here is pretty simple. Once these things hit roads, Tesla is going to be printing money and the ripple effect will take full effect. Somebody sees a Cybertruck on the streets for the first time, what the f*** is that? Next minute, some homework. The next minute, they discover it is the best value, most utilitarian, most functional pickup truck money can buy, electric or otherwise. Next minute, another order for Cybertruck. Next minute, they get their Cybertruck. Next minute, they tell all their friends and family about it. Next minute, ripple effect, you get it. This is why Tesla does not need to advertise. Fill in the blanks. The Tesla blank gives me a blank. That's right, we're talking about the Tesla Semi. I'll explain when you're older. For those of you who haven't seen my video, Tesla Semi will make billions. There's a card in the corner. I highly recommend it. There's plenty of great information as to why this thing is going to make a shit ton of money for Tesla, absolutely disrupt the transportation industry, and also make companies like Nikola look like a joke. Oh, wait, they did that themselves. Oh, well. Anyway, this thing is going to be enormous. I know it's not super sexy and exciting for a typical consumer out there. You're not likely to be using the Tesla Semi yourself, but the amount of miles done in a typical year from an average Semi is enormous. The environmental impact is going to be huge. The Tesla Semi Semi is going to completely disrupt the freight industry, make a ton of money for Tesla and scare the pants off everybody who isn't currently developing autonomous vehicle software. Remember, one of the big standout features of Tesla Semi is the convoy feature. One lead vehicle potentially with a human driver, then two trailing vehicles in autonomous mode following that lead vehicle, no drivers necessary, much lower cost of transportation and this is just the beginning. The Tesla Roadster is finally due for release next year as well, but let's be honest, it's not a priority and if Tesla doesn't get around to it, they don't get around to it. Not a big deal. Why you say? Why is it not a big deal if Tesla doesn't release this car that's one gigantic bitch slap to the entire internal combustion engine industry with a 0 to 60 time of less than 2 seconds, rah rah rah? Glad you asked. Introducing the Tesla Plaid Model S. You know what would be even more of an embarrassing smackdown to the internal combustion engine vehicle industry than a $250,000 two-door sports car from Tesla? That's right, a $140,000 four-door family sedan that's even faster. Not actually joking. That's right, Tesla's Plaid Model S is going to shame, embarrass and melt the ICE performance industry. And just for the record, yes, the Roadster is going to have updated specs and yes, it's going to be even faster than the Plaid Model S. Can't wait to see that 0 to 60 time in 1 point something seconds, especially with the SpaceX package. In fact, here's a prediction. The new Tesla Roadster with SpaceX cold gas thruster package will have a 0 to 60 time of closer to 1 second than to 2. Yes. I said that, yes, I'm on the record, and yes, I'm standing by that. I think one of the biggest positive catalysts for Tesla's stock this year is going to come as an enormous surprise to many people out there who haven't been paying super close attention to the latest progress of full self-driving beta. My prediction is that by the end of 2021, Tesla will have released full self-driving to the entire fleet. It still will have the caveat that the human driver needs to be ready to take over at any point in time, but I suspect by the end of this year, there will be Teslas going from driveway to destination and back in the United States and in China without a single human intervention. Once the stock market realizes the implications of how close Tesla are to having fully autonomous vehicles that don't even need a driver inside, I think shit is going to get very real with Tesla's stock price as people start to see and understand the potential of autonomous robotaxis and realize they're much closer than most people were expecting. And as full self-driving clearly 
really improves in leaps and bounds throughout 2021, the take rate from customers buying Tesla vehicles and also opting for full self-driving is going to go through the roof. And remember, this revenue is extremely high margin. Effectively, all Tesla needs to do is press a button and turn the software on for a customer's car and that's it. They don't need to build anything, it's already got all the necessary hardware. This is literally printing money out of thin air. Speaking of printing money out of thin air, Tesla is also going to begin offering full self-driving subscription services this year, which is going to enable some customers who can't afford the upfront cost of full self-driving to get access and, of course, going to start printing even more high margin revenue for Tesla. Winning, winning, winning. So if you haven't quite figured it out already, there's quite a few very positive catalysts for Tesla the company and therefore by proxy Tesla stock in 2021 and there's plenty more. I literally haven't even mentioned their burgeoning solar business, the storage business, especially growth in Megapack. No discussion whatsoever of Autobidder software that's literally printing money for people while they sleep monetizing their existing storage assets. I could literally keep rattling off points for another 20 minutes but I don't want to bore you guys and girls to tears. Just a few final points that are very important easily overlooked that I'd like to put on the record now because I know I'll be right at the end of the year. Nobody with functioning grey matter on Wall Street will be bearish on Tesla by the time 2021 is done. They will see their production capacity has expanded from a few hundred thousand vehicles to well over one million vehicles in a single year. They will also see that Tesla continues to sell every vehicle they make and maintain their margins while continuing to cut prices because they found new ways to do more with less, become more resourceful and are passing those cost savings on to consumers. The highly profitable Model Y will become Tesla's best selling vehicle. Tesla will continue to expand into new countries and territories. It's likely we'll hear the location for the next factory or two. Yes, I know that sounds crazy, but hey, I'm putting it on the record. And of course, the big kicker, Tesla is extremely likely to unveil the design for their China designed Model 2, the $25,000 vehicle which is likely to be designed from the ground up to last over a million miles, battery, drivetrain, the whole kit and caboodle. This is the vehicle that changes everything. This is the vehicle that kills the internal combustion engine industry, destroys billions of dollars worth of market capitalization because all the dinosaurs are getting wiped out by this enormous asteroid they're too dumb to even notice is coming right for them. And a prediction. Tesla's Model 2, or whatever it ends up being called when it's officially released, will become, without a question, the best-selling vehicle on planet Earth. Oh, and silly me, I almost forgot. Q1 is going to break every record ever, record deliveries, record production, record revenue, record profit, record cash on hand, blah, blah, blah. Q2 will then break all of those records. Q3 will then break all of those records. And you guessed it, Q4 will break all of those records. By the end of 2021, the only way to explain somebody doubting Tesla's viability or their future dominance will be the bell curve. Yep, I said it. So what's my prediction for Tesla stock in 2021? Well, as you guys know, I don't have a crystal ball despite some of my past predictions suggesting otherwise, but here's what I think is going to happen. Nowhere near the level of growth we saw in 2020. The market finally started to get Tesla last year, so it's not going to happen again. They get it, at least the part about the vehicles. A couple of years time, people go, oh, f full soft driving, oh, f the energy business. This will happen a few more times. But right now, I don't see that insane 10x growth happening over a single year. What I do see instead is a little bit less volatility and relatively steady growth over the year. Of course, in the short term, any think could happen. But over the long term, I suspect that Tesla stock is going to end 2021 much higher than it was at the start of the year. And I'm not talking like thousands of dollars higher, but certainly double digit percentage higher. But again, I do not have a crystal ball. I do not know what will happen. But just based on what I can infer by all of the positive catalysts, people's understanding, the narrative shifting, etc., I suspect this is the most likely outcome for Tesla stock. Let me know in the comments below, what are you most excited about for Tesla in 2021? And what's your prediction? What price will Tesla stock end the year at? I'm Stephen Mark Ryan, this is Solving the Money Problem, and I love you all. And don't forget, if you live in the US and you'd like to help out the channel and get up to four free stocks, check out the link in the description to Weeble. If you open a new account, you'll get two free stocks between $2.50 and $250 each just for opening an account. And if you deposit $100, you'll get a further two free stocks valued between $8 and $1,600 each. And if you're in Australia, the UK or New Zealand, you can get a free stock with stake also using the link in the description. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, if you have any ideas for future videos, let me know. I read all your comments. P.S. If you're still watching, you're awesome. If you'd like early access, exclusive videos, regular Q&As, our private Discord server and more, consider supporting the channel at 
at patreon.com slash solving the money problem so I can keep creating content for you guys. There's a link in the description. You can now also become a member of the channel for some exclusive perks. To learn more, click the join button next to subscribe and don't forget to check out our merch store. Either way, the best form of support is you being here and watching so thanks again.